Hey friends, so there's a itch charity bundle going on lately, uh, fundraising, and I, this isn't about that specific one, this is about the general subject that is itch fundraising bundles, where I saw some complaints online, not a ton of them, but some people starting to have kind of a bit of backlash over like, are these a good thing? Do we like them? Is there a problem? Should they not happen? And so on. So I want to share some thoughts as someone who's taken part in several over the years and have been glad that I did. No regrets about them. I think that, what now, two or three, maybe big ones, maybe a fourth around the corner, question mark. But... I think they're a good thing. Let me explain why, if I may. A, you know, why not just donate money directly to those charities? Well, so first of all, a major challenge that hits people when they're trying to make donations to causes that are important and that they want to put money towards is that they don't necessarily have the time to sort out out of the many possible ways or organizations through which to make that donation, which one, right? So they might have 20, 40, $10 that they could put towards a cause that's important to them. What they don't have to put towards that cause is 40, 20, or $10 plus several hours of online research to be like, is this one trustworthy? Is that one trustworthy? Is this a real organization? Is this the best and most efficient use? It is basically a form of, we'll use this word again in a second, transfer of trust, in which the organizer of the bundle is basically vouching for, they understand that there's going to be a lot more money at stake than they personally would put towards something. So they have put in the time up front on your behalf to investigate out of different organizations that money could go towards this is a legitimate one. This one weighs it efficiently. This one is trustworthy. This one has a history to it. This one has a reach or scale or maybe even is just the most in need at this time under the circumstances. It's not just making a $40 donation or $20 donation. It's towards an organization that someone else has on your behalf looked into and said, okay, well, if we're going to put a non-trivial sum of money towards it, here's a good one at this point in time and history, we believe to put it towards. That's saving you time. That's helping the transaction. That's making the thing go better. Another part of it, again, is this transfer of trust element. So somebody else complained like, hey, it seems to lead to some not always comfortable self-promotion angle, right? Of people who are part of these bundles talking about being part of the bundle, which I've done, I've done videos pointing out like, hey, I've put a thing in this bundle. That is part of how the fundraising action works. It is, again, a form of transfer of trust. It's saying that I, as a creator of content, as an author of books, creator of audio books, maker of material, person who's made games, whatever the thing is that someone's putting towards that bundle they're saying to their people who trust them, who are their followers, their reach, their communities, saying like, hey, I've looked into this. I am comfortable vouching for this organizer, this charity, this, I'm comfortable being part of this. And so by affiliation, by connection to that, again, it's a trust element to, if you put your 10, 20, 40 towards this, it's not some fly by night, not going to vanish, not came out of nowhere, not unreliable, not going to misuse these funds somehow, at least not that anyone involved seems to expect. And this is also another element in there, same towards that element, like why not just give $40 directly to the organization? is that it's not going directly to the person who's making the recommendation, myself in this kind of case, or to the organizer of the bundle. Part of what's great about how Itch handles these is that Itch literally, as a third-party trusted organization, separate from the person who organized the bundle, got the games together, curated, and so on, separate from them, they are the handlers of the money directly to, as efficiently as possible, to the charitable organizations. And so it's not as if you have these kind of like gray areas in between of a swirl of money changing hands. If you're not paying me for me to pay the organizer, for the organizer to may or may not pass money on to the charity, it is itch as a responsible, trackable, findable, centralized party responsible for, in many cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, depending on the scale of the bundle and the operation success it has in its outreach. Transfer money to a charity is much easier to keep straight because, again, itch that doesn't go through the organizer, that goes through itch itself as a platform and much, much easier to track, to handle the tax work for, to handle the whatever regulatory needs they need to take care of it's easier to do centralized than having kind of one at a time, just figuring out, sorting out how to handle those kind of things. Now, another element to it is, is somebody worried, like, does it devalue the work of creators, right? So if someone puts hours or years or months into making their thing, their game, in my case, audiobooks, in my case, educational materials and resources I've included in these bundles, and normally it has a price attached to it. When they're giving it away, isn't that somehow devaluing the work? And part of what's going on there is that often... We see these things happening around us that uh, we feel affects not just our lives, but the lives of our neighbors, the lives of our families, the lives of our friends, the lives of people we care about, the lives of people who we consider part of our people that we want to be responsible towards helping improve the world for. And we may not have out of our list of strengths or skills or backgrounds or connections or something, certain core competence that we feel would help us better serve a cause. I, I think a little bit, I don't know if you've seen the old movie Three Amigos. It's an old, I think, 80s film. It's got Steve Martin and Martin Short and uh, Chevy Chase. And it's cute. It's about some Hollywood actors who go to, they think that they're on a set. They're in a real situation with a real gang. Anywho, micro spoiler if you haven't seen the movie. So that's why I build up. It's a cute movie. It's funny. 
But near the end, they're trying to figure out, okay, well, how are we going to scare off these these bad people who are kind of riding into town, harassing these these small town villagers? And a bunch of them are like, well, what skills do you have? Like, well, we can sew. And, like, you know, this is that kind of stuff. So they sew a bunch of, again, spoilers for Three Amigos, many-year-old movie. They're sewing costumes to then disguise themselves so it looks like the good guys are everywhere. And it's this creative solution for, like, okay, well, the skill that you have isn't actually normally one you might think of as able to help address this problem. You're not fundamentally a commuter organizer. You're not fundamentally an activist. You're not fundamentally someone who's comfortable with the skill set necessary to help mobilize the kind of energy and political action it would take to do something about this. But you are someone who could do something else. And as a creator of content, it actually, I like when there's a way where I can take like, okay, well, what I do, and let's say it's make game music. If I can somehow plug that into like, throw that into the pile to help these efforts to do something, it's helpful. I That is valuable to me. That's more valuable to me than a sale or two or three or a hundred thousand of them. It's more valuable to me to be able to put that towards making a difference in a way that like goes beyond maybe the money I could personally donate comfortably if instead it goes towards people who would like those materials are donating towards that cause. Ultimately, that is better at scale than what I individually impact I could do with my particular set of skill sets, again, opportunities, positions, and so on. So it's not even to the detriment of the creator. Again, I mean, creators are actively choosing to do this. They're not being pressured into doing it. They're not being pushed into doing it. No one's even actively recruiting or going after people so much as making it available to like, hey, if, if you would rather your thing be in this bundle than not to help raise money for this cause or this purpose or this organization, you have the option to do so. I think that's a great thing. It's I've only, I've got no regrets about doing it before. Probably keep doing it in the future. Happy to be part of those. But just want to discuss some of the pluses of those for in case you've, got, you've seen some of those concerns or thought about those maybe yourself about like, okay, well, this, what's the dynamics of those? That's part of what's going on here of transfer of trust, of centralizing, saving time of the person doing donation about which organization to donate it to, of the people who are out there banging the drum a little bit for like, hey, my work is in there. My thing is in there. I am contributing to this. It's not so much about like, I am great like me. It is saying that you should give towards this because I've looked into this and this is a cause important to me that I find more worth that than the sale. And again, that's what's drawing the people into it, that everyone who's chipping their things into the bundles then goes out and bangs the drum locally to their among their own reach and communities, their own bubble to raise awareness of this fundraising effort is currently going on. That's what brings that energy together to make to lower the barrier for who's willing and able to, like I say, they can commit $10 to the cause. What they couldn't have committed was $10 plus the hours to figure out what organization to give it to. Plus, it felt like there was an event, a time. This is another sort of element that maybe kind of glossed over. Obviously, they've all got timers on them, right? They run for 10 days, seven days, two weeks, what have you. And that is a part of why they work. Because in the same way as like, why not just give directly to the organization? Well, why not just give throughout the year? Why not just run that thing year round? And that event effect, that sense of well, there's this closing window of time, six days from now, five days, three days, last 24 hours, you'll often get a spike in those in the last 24 hours, last 48 hours where it's running out of time. It gets a lot of people to prompt and prioritize that over the bazillion other things that they could or should or think they might be doing in the near term when they could always do it later. Gives them a reason to do it sooner rather than later, which means in many cases to do it at all instead of never. So anyway, those are some thoughts about why I think its charity fundraising bundles are great. I've been proud to be a part of them, happy to be a part of them. Like I say, I'll probably keep doing a part of them in the future. Not even about a specific bundle today. I just want to speak to the general topic of as a content creator putting materials in those bundles. I'm happy about them. I do it by choice. I'll keep doing it by choice. Wanted to speak to that side of things. Thanks for being here. Thanks for following along as always. That's kind of it for the day. Catch you around next time. Bye for now.